We're on our way to Sam Sarah Fields today to go speak with JP and So Young. And we're going to meet JP's mom, and she's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the farm's history. Well, the uh, farm was actually this piece of property with a little house on it was owned by uh, my uh, husband's mother, JP's grandmother. We kept the property in rye field. The rye would grow up, mature into uh, seeds, be disked down. It would self-seed, and this kept on for decades. Uh, so therefore, this has been organic for a very long time. And the whim was I started planting a bit of garlic in the autumn of 2009, which then turned into more garlic, which then turned up into more working of land. And by the next spring, we had decided we were in fact farming. We started this organic farm last year. I studied the heart. I studied all these nutrition and vegetables, heirloom varieties, so that I could manage this. It's not perfect, but we put together and make this happen. And this is the idea of our farming. The name Samsara itself comes from uh, Buddhist and Hindu cosmology, meaning the cycle of life, birth, death, rebirth, more life. Some could say it's suffering, and it's suffering. When you're out here working, you can feel like you're suffering. But the point is, is a farm is very much samsara. You know, your materials that go in produce the good, solid, composted ground upon which you're able to build life. So Young and I had spent a year traveling and working in, in the developing world and coming across issues of environmental degradation and uh, refugees post-conflict. Um, and food security became a bit of an issue that we, we kept running into wherever we went. I believe that JP actually got his uh, love of farming, not only because we would come here on weekends and we would always put in a few beans, a few tomatoes, but I was a cub leader in Toronto for 25 years. And uh, one of the things you could get a badge for would be uh, you plant a cub garden and my uh, son JP did just that. And I think that sort of uh, promoted a love of the soil. My husband JP, he uh, did organic farm. He, uh, he started farming about uh, one acres by himself. Uh, so he got a lot of great knowledge of organic farming. We were very intrigued by the notion of bringing producers and consumers together into a working relationship. Um, and that really, that really uh, struck some important chords in our own minds that, that this is something that collectively we need to move towards. All of us need to understand the role of, of, of the food systems in supporting all of our life. So we liked the, we liked the concept. Uh, of course, the next leap was to figure out how to make this work. And fortunately, we've found an amazing group of people in Oakville that have been very supportive of our CSA. I think it's a very uh, worthwhile concept. I think there's a need for it in the future because I myself have seen the history of what's been happening to farming, to the type of produce that we find in the supermarkets. Uh, it's there, it looks nice, it's manicured, it's packaged, but there's no flavor to it, and I'm sure not that many vitamins. I would say it's been very successful so far, and as the crops are coming on, people seem to be happy with what we're bringing them. The quantities are getting up, the varieties are, are, are very intriguing, and so it is giving us an opportunity to really provide people with things that they may not even buy on their own because it's definitely something different. Sometimes in life you have to have things put to you in order to test your own creative limits. So my recipe is more like, you know, the vegetables we are growing. Those vegetables are very unusual and eccentric, so people don't know why. We got nice king noodle beans. I don't know what to eat. What is this for? And people started asking, right? But we used to eat this kind of varieties just naturally. So I'm saying, this is the same beans, and then you can cook differently, but also you can get this recipe with my creation, because I'm very creative in a way, and uh, I like to improvise food, and I love eating food, the good food. So that's how I developed the recipe, and this is the way the CSA members can get. 
So uh, trying to uh, take a balance between the nice recipe and the nutrition for CSA members and for everybody. The CSA is a wonderful thing and it gives people an opportunity to participate in a working relationship with farmers. In this case, this is your farmer. So looking forward to being at the Harborside Organic Farmers Market in downtown Oakville next year and looking forward to meeting new people, bringing in people on board with our CSA and bringing lots of fruit, fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables through the season. Well, in my eyes, he was a good boy. He really was, yeah. <laughs>